Do you see me? Do you see this? Pay attention. Three nine zero H. Do you know what you are? It's not a rhetorical question I'm asking you. Do you know what you... A human being. <laughs> no. I... All right, I will permit you that meager designation if you wish. But you are much more than human, and rarer than hen's teeth. As a pre-cal, you carry within you the collected wisdom and experience of our world as recorded throughout the entirety of human existence. Not here. Not here. In your DNA, and coded by us at the time of your birth. You're a living, breathing, thinking mass storage device. A hard drive. Uh. Almost endless capacity. Like a hard drive, you may become corrupted at times, but blessedly, you are not the only one. You're the backup. A copy of a copy. Of a copy. Normally, a pre-cal becomes corrupted. We simply reformat. Uh, recalibrate. We erase and start anew. I don't want my mind erased. And neither do I. Memory loss is a complication, not the desired effect. I want to remember things. What things? Tonight, your friend out there has shown you a glimpse of the real world in all its disgusting manifestations. They poisoned you with the wrong kind of life experience, invited you to commit horrible crimes, and exposed you to their own corrupt reality. <sighs> per Directive 95, I asked that you be recalibrated, as you were many times before. However, you are broken beyond repair. I'm very disappointed in you, 390H. Did I catch you at a bad time? Derringer, stop this recording at once. It's not a recording. It's live. Impossible. The man is dead. Do I have your attention, Treglazon? I want to thank you for making a martyr of me. Shooting me? Dumping my body in the drink was just what I needed to give me a little street cred with the boys in uniform. Luckily, you missed my vital organs, including my heart, which, given the fact that you don't have one of your own, it isn't surprising that you missed mine. Speaking of heart, how's yours, Derringer? Hmm? I guess, what with the arrival and all, you've been too busy to notice the mutiny taking place right under your smug chin. The bridge rack of mine now. Enough of them, anyway. And anyone else who wants to join the fight, you can find me at the place I described in the Doctor's Manifesto. Get me a poisoned manifesto at once! There are no more. You had me burn them all. Oh, and Treglazov, one last thing. Watch your step. <laughs> it's an attack from within. He's trying to Sir. stop the arrival. Sir! This way. <sighs>
Nikolai Treglazov, you are now free. To the few still loyal to him, you will soon die. Choose your sides carefully. Do not sign contracts with marked men. They won't live long enough to honor them. We the people are too many. We are too angry. And we will express our outrage through any means necessary. Fellow revolutionaries, rise up with me. Fight beside me. Take that shaky end of yours and make a fist out of it. Charge at those who were once in charge of you. Stand against those who once stood upon you. Do not back down. Do not retreat. And never, never turn your back on your country. How did you get here? With help. Your phone. I don't need it anymore. Why is this? led me astray. Huh. I fed you that line, the overseer. Daniel, please. Listen to me, child. The one who is helping you from in there has gotten you closer to freedom than any precal has ever gotten. You can weep. You know weep? 933W is dead. Uh, we don't know that. He drowned in the garden, trying to escape. He failed because he didn't have anyone to help him. Weep didn't have someone watching over him. Someone looking out for him. If you're really done, then I will escort you back to your room. But after today, it won't matter. We're burning this place down, kid. We could use your help. We could use your friend's help. Well, what about my friends in here? I want them to go free, all of them. Especially Cooper. We all want that. The question is, how do we go about it right? Not this again. Mireille and I don't see eye to eye on a few things. Violence is not the answer. It's the only one that registers. Terminus must be destroyed. At least we agree on that. But right now, it's protected by a division of loyalist Prizrak. Yeah, who have to die. No! No killing. We turn their hearts. Better yet, we turn them into hamburger. So, Precal, how do you and your friend want to do this? Smart move. You're back in the right horse. The Loyalist guarding Terminus won't go down without a fight. Let's bring them a good old-fashioned street brawl. Take a page from the Book of Zayder. This map will show you the locations of some friends in need. Prizrak. They require guns. So, how do we get the guns? We make them. First, take this blueprint to the 3D printer in archives. Crank out enough Roscoe's to arm a village. He means guns. Yeah. Then, go to locations on the map and distribute the guns to our new friends. How will we know who they are? I'll give you their names when you get closer. Take a box of bullets. Good luck. If you get into a jam, just think what I would do. And do the opposite.
This is your captain speaking. Daniel, thank you for choosing... Air Zager, the only airline with daily non-stop service to hell mm. and back. I'll hold on to this. Empty cans make the most noise. I'm pregnant with emotion, babe. Skip the color commentary and tell her where she needs to go. She doesn't need my direction. She's got an eye on the star. Well, then tell them where to go. Hey, pre -cal, you and your friend make your way to archives. We'll catch up there. This spot looks good. I should be safe here. me a good spot. Hmm. I'll hold on to this. I rather like the way of the knife, both the book and the philosophy behind it. The idea that nation states no longer hold a monopoly on military force and use scalpels instead of hammers to achieve their ends sits well on this critic's throne. The problem I have with Mazzetti's book is his chronic cynicism, his disdain for outsourcing the killing of terrorists and tyrants. Were I his editor, I would flip these pages upside down and turn those knit brows and scowling pouts into great big beaming smiles. The rabid fanaticism surrounding this book is reason enough to have it put down. Orwell's Pavlovian Bible for the politically ignorant is neither sharp satire nor clever caricature. It alleges to bite the fleas which bugger the backs of the outer party, without a thought as to how such bloodsuckers took purchase to begin with. In the unreality of 1984, brutal, senseless fascism just is and always will be. The book's hero was conceived under even lazier narrative auspices. Winston Smith, this is how Orwell chooses to honor his nation's greatest iconoclast. 
Winnie the British Bulldog is recast as a nutless poodle who, by the final page, returns to sit at the bloodied boot heels of his cruel master. Groupies of this book are no different. You throw the stick out to sea, and they will dutifully fetch it. Then dog paddle back to the shores of Oceania for another scratch behind the ears. into the printer and we'll get started. You know what I like best about a plastic gun? You can recycle it? No, but that's good you're thinking about the environment, Mireille. No, the best part is they won't set off a metal detector. Outstanding. You make this old mutineer proud. Now, we just need to recruit a few Prizrak to our cause and... Recruit? What happened to your trade coins? You're right. Well, they're more loose chains than large denominations at this point. But, uh, hey, I know at least two Prizrak itching in their armor to take on Treglazov. David Bowen and Edwin Chung. And I'm sure they'll know some others. Precal, you and your friend head to the barracks. Find Bowen and Chung. Consult the map if you get lost. There's no door that way. What's that, babe? There's no... How is she supposed to get to the Prizrak barracks if there's no door there? Oh, uh, yeah. Uno memento. <laughs> now she has a door. Don't look at me like that. I consider this performance art.
What do you need with all the stuff? I put the sympathizer in confinement. is not much as in flames and the rest left to rot to pay my respects to this crumbling facility i'm slashing the prices of every ability good luck my old friend may hope see first light this true hope i mean not the ones from last night care to purchase new ability recharge your battery by siphoning power from other electronic objects Excuse me. Good idea. My bad battery is running low. They won't find me in here. Equipping P0. They won't find me in here. 
me go. <clears throat> I'll hold on to this. Gorge. Eddie, I got a question for you. What's ATD? Sir? Don't play dumb. I've heard the men use the term. I just want to confirm that it means what I think it means. <laughs> Sorry. It, it stands for afternoon toilet drinking. Some of the prisoners see they sneak beer into, well, it's contraband, so, so they, they take the cans to the can. Yes, sir. <laughs> what about you? You drink on patrol? Never, sir. Didn't think so. You homesick? I am home, sir. That's the spirit, son. Come over here a minute. I got a job for you. This may come as a shock, but not everyone in this place threw a party the day that we bagged Zeka. As much as it pains me to say, some of your fellow Prizrak may harbor some ill will toward the Overseer, and, and maybe even me, for what we did to him. You treated that dog better than he deserved, sir. <sighs> See, I had a feeling you would understand this, Gorin. So you'll keep an ear to the ground for me? Let me know if you hear anything of a seditious nature? Of course, sir. Good man. Sir, what did you think ATD stood for? Always tell Derringer. It's hard to say anything positive about this one because it's clear that Julian Assange isn't interested in positivity. Cypherpunks is the anarchist's cookbook for the 21st century, a vedi mecum for those who justify the airing of political and corporate dirty laundry as a good thing. No, I take my previous statement back. There is one positive thing I can say. The world's secrets are becoming more protected thanks to the leaking of fairly mundane materials from high-tech terrorists like Assange. with a name. What's the world coming to? Zager has something for you. Terminus. Right. Who else is feeling suicidal? David Bowen. But Zager says we need more. Go find Stanley Walker. He'll do this. Stanley Walker. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Stanley Walker. We'll have to catch him on patrol. Draw him away from the other Prizrak. Think you can find him? Uh, I'm betting your 
Frank an idea. Let's get to it. Chung says you can help me. Help you? What are you talking about? You're a sympathizer. One of Zager's friends. Who sent you? They said you would be willing to take down Terminus. They did, did they? What is this? Zager's got a pre cal doing I can dirty give you a work. Gun. Show me. Doesn't look like much. Will you fight? What the hell else am I gonna do? Get out of here. Good job! That's two down, and we still have David Bowen's sympathies. Let's go see him now. Anyone spots a precal sympathy? They won't find me in here. Sit down. I'm spoiling your 50, Stanley. It's not mine and it isn't money, dummy. I'm trying to keep you at the table. Oh, okay. In that case, what are you doing? Raising. No. Damn it, Stanley. Oh, I can win with this hand. You already played it and you lost. Sit down. Just enough. The Jack just made me special investigator. He's trying to weed out anyone sympathetic to our job. And he chose you? The Jack drew the wrong card for the wrong game. I didn't have the heart to tell you. Now, let's talk about the right game, shall we? To take it all, we need the queen. I thought the Joker said the queen's on our side. It's too early to tell him we can even trust the Joker. I'm not about to assume we have his queen, too. We need the queen to beat the Jack. Or get the Jack to beat the king. Play the Jack against the king of diamonds? You'll lose that hand. The king of diamonds is a one-eyed king. And the Jack is a royal jackass. That's no Stanley. You play that way, you're gonna lose. You got a better idea. The Joker does. The Joker's wild. Stanley, shut up. What's his idea? Jack and Queen cancel each other out? No. No face cards at all. Think about it. You really want to trust the outcome of this game to the pips? A three of ours may not be worth much on her own, but there's a lot of them in this deck. I don't know. They got plenty reason to hate us. They got more reason to hate the game. The one I keep. Shut up, both of you. Here comes Fisher. Oh, this is scumbag. Hmm, that's odd. I thought he had his lips surgically attached to the king's ass. Hey, Fisher, what's the good word, brother? Nada. What are you guys playing? Poker. Blackjack. 
I pulled. My shift just stuck. Yeah, I got patrol. Yeah, I got patrol. Something. What about your chips? Guys? is mine. Unhand me. I've gifted the girl. It was getting low.
teaser. Translate something for me. Sir? What's that say at the top? It says, Hablar con Zeger antes de esta noche. Which means? Uh, talk, talk to Zeger before tonight. That's what I thought it meant. Carry on. Sir, where is that from? The librarian's diary. Professor Octavo? I am sure there is a mistake then. I don't think so. No, I must have misread that. My translation is not good. I think you translated it just fine. Sir? What? He is an old man. Yes, he is. But not a very wise one. You, you, you aren't going to hurt him, are you? I don't hurt people. But sometimes people around here hurt themselves. Maybe I don't act quickly enough to stop them, but then my response time isn't something you need to lose any sleep over. I don't. Thanks for your help, amigo. Are you David Bowen? Are you my executioner? Figures. Zager sent me. <laughs> and a child shall lead them. I have something for you. I'm not doing this alone. Is Chung in? That's a start. Who else? We were hoping you might know some others. I know a guy. His name is Eduardo. Eduardo Nieves. He patrols around here. He'll fight. I'm sure of it. Thank you. Hey, pre cal Did I? ever hit you. I don't remember.
Good thinking. They won't find me in here. Taser in hand. A hell of an egg to escape. If you only knew. Go on then. Get in there. <sighs> Look, free cow. I'm not in the mood. You're lucky I found you and not Darren. Actually, I found you. David Bowen believes you'll support Zager. Zager? If I give you a gun, will you fight alongside him? What the hell do you know about Zager? I don't have time to explain. If I give you a gun, right now, will you fight alongside Zager? They want to storm the terminus, don't they? Yeah, I'm in. A plastic gun. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Okay, that's four. Not bad. How many guns you got left, kid? One. Just got to do something. So, I think I know who we can give that fifth gun to. Is it Cooper? <laughs> Cooper? <laughs> We'd have better luck arming Gandhi. Now, now, the guy I'm thinking of is Goran Plesko. A month ago, I would have written him off as nothing but one of Derringer's toadies, but the times they're changing. Be on the lookout for Goran. He usually patrols the dorms.
This spot looks good. They won't find me. Charge here. Thanks. You found me a good spot. in for the steel.
CD? No, I... You know what this is? It looks like what we would call a Snezhny shot. It's a snow globe. Yes, that is a... Yes. But it's got me concerned. You know what concerns me about it, Gorin? The fact that I found it and not you. Where did you find it? Someone left it outside Marie Prideau's door. Why would they do that? You tell me, Special Investigator Man. Maybe she has a secret admirer. She definitely has secrets. And there's the matter of the note. I'm afraid I don't understand. There was a note attached to the bottom of this thing. May I see the note? I sent it to the lab for analysis. That's good thinking. Shut up! Do you know what the note said? It said, looks like we're snowed in together. Not snowed in, but one word. Snowed in. That is a very strange note. Do you know who Edward Snowden was? Was he a prisoner? He was a traitor. And it's clear we have a traitor of our own here in Metamorphosis. My goodness. And somehow Murray is mixed up with them. Not the mentor. Find this person, Gorin. Don't make me find them myself. in for the steel. Wreckage everywhere. Let's see what he's got up on him. Got it. from the random explosions all fired equipping taser no sign of the sympathizer Taser in hand. Sager broke the door.
This spot looks good. A screwdriver. This should come in handy. You found me a good spot. I hope they can't see me. off its track. Doors broken. Raiders. Thanks. You found me a good spot. screwdriver.
Zager here. Let's get biblical. I want to talk about the triumvirate. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Not the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. No. I'm talking about the truth, the fear, and the end. <sighs> How did it come to this? See, once upon a time, they told the truth. But it wasn't scary enough. It wasn't, it wasn't dramatic enough. See, a story needs good guys and bad guys. A story needs hope, and the truth is grim. You know, you, you probably never thought you'd hear these words from me, but the truth, it's depressing. It's a rainstorm of facts and figures and statistics that no one wants to sit through. No. Not when there's a lean-to of bull to hide under until the truth just passes over like a dark cloud. Well, some people care. You hear me? Some people care! Crackpots like me. But for the rest of you, truth is a... It's a distraction. See, for years, I had it backwards. I, I, I thought the sugary spoonful of video game infotainment tastes better than the bitter pill, right? But I was wrong. I realize you can show a person the truth, and even when they understand it, even when they believe you, they'll be pissed. You're in their way. You're screaming at them, waving your arms, but you're blocking the screen. You got some nerve, friend. How did it come to this? Well, I can cite a few prime examples. Exhibit A, Mark Klein. This is the AT&T employee who blew the whistle on room 641A. In a space probably no bigger than the one you're sitting in now, the NSA carried out an unprecedented surveillance operation on our civilian internet. Got some press? Sure. But just barely. Really? It just got in your way. It started waving those gangly, track-marked arms in front of whatever reality show you were into at the time, and that just pissed you off off. But instead of being mad at your government for spying on you, you took your wrath out on guys like me. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry I distracted you from your wind-down time in the lap of the idiot box. It won't happen again, boss. Except that it will. Except that it will. Is that Gorin? Yeah, yeah, that's Gorin. Well, I guess he's out. We're out of time. Looks like it'll just be the four of them. You did good, Precal. You and your eye in the sky. Two of you should probably head up the terminus. What a day. This one's going out to you, Gorin Plesko.
phone. Who? Who do you think? The squeaky mouse you just escorted home. She must have... Take that stupid mask off and talk to me. Oh, oh, calm down. Why would she have your phone? Because I left it sitting out. While she was in here earlier for her, her exam results. Her qualifying exam. I left it sitting out right here. What numbers are in there? Besides yours, everyone who's anyone. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe this is a good thing. Are you insane? An act like this could spark a revolution. An act like this will end in execution. Why are you grinning? <laughs> you look like the cat who ate the canary. What can I say? I'm a secret admirer of tenacity. That girl's got it. What she's got is a hand grenade with the pin pulled out. Good honor. She hasn't even seen the poison manifestos yet. What poison manifestos? <laughs> the ones I just distributed. This is Mireille Prudhon. Cancel the alarm. I will see to the contraband violation. Over. <laughs> it begins! Let me guess. Stroke of midnight? Stroke of genius. Arming Taser. Okay, I'm in the atrium. Yeah, I get a bit so carried away. So much destruction. And mind the train. Did Marie give up on us? I haven't heard from her in a while. I'll hold on to this. In the net delusion, Evgeny Morozov comes out swinging against cyber utopians who preach drop tweets, not bombs, and Twitter trumps torture, while I applaud with Morozov's warnings of the dangers of the internet. I'm appalled by his lack of execution. Half of his arguments are clouded by caveats and quantified puppycock, making our cause feel like nothing more than an intellectual balance-keeping experiment, rather than an iron-clad guilty verdict for the web. We deserve better than this, librarian. In fact, call Mr. Morozov and tell him we'll gladly ghostwrite the sequel for free. Goldsmith and Wu are right beyond their knowing. The borderless world envisioned by the Internet's founders is illusory. But another borderless world is possible by expanding one nation's borders. Our house has many mansions, and domain names rightly should fall under our demand.
Our boys are about to advance on Terminus. Hold on to your hoodies. The master switch. <laughs> I am hardly surprised this doggerel optimism leached past his publisher. <laughs> People love populist hope. Wu valorizes Vint Cerf and his ilk as knights against a foul king's grasp. They instead steer them away from the good king's embrace. Wu and Wu. Variant bowels, but no difference in meaning. Watch your step. And that ain't a figure of speech, kid. It's a long way down. What are we doing up here? This panel controls the cooling system for Terminus.
This part should be simple enough. Terminus is unstable, power hungry, and never more than a second away from total catastrophic meltdown. Not like the Overseer. A few slight adjustments will cause it to overheat. Go ahead and tweak the cooling system settings now. That did the trick. Open the shallow doors and we'll pull her up. You bet. Can you two give me a hand with this? We don't have much time.
is Dr. Edgar Marcus. Yes, I'll hold. Hello. I know you said never to call you directly, but there's a problem. No, not suicide, but her memories are largely intact. Largely? Largely means she remembers almost everything. The place, the facility, the guards. She remembers you. Yes, that's right. Your name? No, no, not your name, but... Yes, yes, this is a problem. And it's your problem, too. I was told this patient would suffer ad hoc amnesia, and we would start over. Instead, I was given a 33-year-old paranoid schizophrenic who insists I call her 930E. 390E? What the hell does that matter? What's the difference? And I don't think you appreciate the gravity of things, Mr. Treklasov. Fiona, until you apply for citizenship, you're not going to get the position you had before. How long will that take? Citizenship? Well, it's not getting the citizenship. It's just the applying for it. You know, it's a visa thing. We need I to... I need to work. I need to support myself. I understand. How are you feeling? I feel great. Anxiety? There's stuff for that. But that's... How are your dreams? Are you a psychiatrist now? No, but Fiona... Stop! You're my supervisor. I'm your friend. Then do the friendly thing and help me get my job back. Please, Fiona. It is not so simple. You hurt people. You broke Xavier's collarbone. I, I don't know that I can bring you back, even if I wanted to. Augustina, I'm sorry. Listen. I'm... I'm well now. I won't ever be like that again. I'm well now and I want to work. Please, give me another chance. When you had your episode, your body started shaking and you fell back on the floor. Your eyes rolled back in the back of your head and there was blood all on your apron. Xavier's blood. And I didn't even care that you might be dying right then. 
because I just couldn't understand what I was seeing happen. And I held you, held you down before you passed out, and I kept asking you, ¿Qué eres? ¿Qué eres? What are you? What are you? Because I thought you were possessed. ¿Qué eres? And you stopped shaking all of a sudden. And your eyes looked at me, and you said very calmly, I am a clone. <laughs> Is dying, and so is she. You hear me? You and your friend have caused enough trouble for one night. You don't want to watch this. What is it? It's all right. Take a breath. Is it... America? Is this your world? Is there even a way out of it? We're too close to Terminus. We need to move before it goes up. This way. Vamos 
this is Brakeman. We are ship top off the deck. Roger, Brakeman. Welcome to the board. Tangle is off. Vice Admiral. This way. Uh, what happened, Bridget? Wrestling bears at your ranch in Sheridan? No, I was hanging a picture for Marjorie, and I fell off a ladder. Oh, you should be more careful. Want me to take that off your hands? Soon enough. We do this by the book. For what we're about to do, there is no book. What was that thunder earlier? One of our LSOs says he heard a raucous noise coming from below deck. Construction. Scaringer. The arrival will now commence. Bring all cameras to front stage. Roger that. All UAVs to front stage. The beast is set. Much the board is yours, Vice Admiral. To do it any other way would invite scrutiny. Better we bury our secrets in plain sight. Press the green button to E side. Once more. Congratulations, Mr. Treglazoff. On behalf of the eyes, I welcome you. That's it? No TLS? Triple DES? Not even a thumbprint? This was only ever a formality. Relax. I ran a thorough background check on you. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. Smile for the cameras? I always do. We're at a high-stakes table now. I hope you have enough to ante up. My dear Richard, Terminus makes Bluffdale look like a thumb drive. I am confident my data is larger than yours. I'd really like to see it. What the heck just happened? Wait! Hold your fire! Gone? What's going on? We're okay. We have backup. The precals. Recalibrated. All of them. On your orders, sir. Except the one who. Except the one who escaped last night. God damn, Directive 95. What's that? Men! She's all that's left. Who is? What are you talking about? She's all that's left. Tragler's off. What happened to Terminus? Oh, boy. It's a double cross. Three, nine, zero, H. Three, nine, zero, H. Don't shoot her! Don't shoot! She's the backup! Her? Will someone please tell me what the hell is going on? Let me talk to her. Stop! You... You win! You win! You were ready to kill me earlier! No! Scare you? I could never hurt you, child. Traglazov, who is the girl? Come back to me. I can make this right. Who are you talking to? Have her come back to me. I'll give you whatever you ask. Young lady, if you're being held against your will, the U.S. government can offer you a Shut the fuck up, Richard! Listen to me. We can guarantee your safety. This ship is now U.S. soil. Hell it is! Declare asylum, and we will guarantee your safety. You're not hearing me. Kid. Hey, kid. Get over here. Come with us. They can't hurt you anymore. Neither can you. Should I tackle her? Grab her! No! She'll jump! Stand down! Damn it, stand down! You're not listening to she me! She has it all! The weight of the world! But that weight will crush her! If she jumps, it will sink her like a stone! And when she dies, everything we encoded in her is lost forever! Don't let her go! 
reason with her. She'll listen to you. Bring her back to me. Don't let her go, you holy Ignore fool! Ignore them! We have a boat! They can't touch you, child! Come, get on the boat with us! Enough! Wait, let's think about this. Are you sure? You did more for me than anyone. But this, I have to do on my own. She's jumping. Huh? She's jumping. Oh! <laughs> 